Today we look at a, a very interesting offering that people were to bring to the Lord. It's called the grain offering. Listen to what it says in Leviticus chapter 2. When anyone offers a grain offering to the Lord, his offering shall be of fine flour. So this is an offering that's just grain. So today we look at chapter 2, and it's all about a, a grain offering to the Lord. It's an interesting look. It's a symbol of our service to the Lord. And it's the, you know, the work of our hands and the, the fruit of the ground, the, the result of cultivation and preparation that we're involved in. The grain offering is an offering that is open to, to everyone. See, even the poorest person can bring an offering of grain. You don't have to be rich, you don't have to be wealthy. And it's not an offering for sin, but it's one of thanksgiving, an offering of gratitude for all God's blessings. Something that, well, once again, that everyone can do. There's no mixing of leaven, which is a picture of pride. No, no honey, which is kind of a picture of fleshly, sensuous things. So Leviticus 2, it's all about thanksgiving. It's all about gratitude. It's our gratitude to the Lord for what he's doing through our lives and in our lives. So here's the question. What is the Lord doing in your life? Is he leading? Is he forgiving? Is he providing for you? Is he protecting you? Is he encouraging you? Well, the list could go on and on of what the Lord is doing. What is he doing through your life? Listen, for all he's doing in and through your life today, sometime during today, stop and give a grain offering. Not really grain, but a time of thanksgiving with a grateful heart. This is something you can do. This is something I can do. This is something anyone can do. That's the grain offering, coming before the Lord, prepared with a heart of, well, gratitude and thanksgiving. It's Leviticus chapter two, a great picture of reminding you and I that we have so much to be grateful for. So give thanks today with a grateful heart to the Lord.